Hi, my name is Kelly. I am 27 years old and I have segmental vitiligo. Basically, that means it's just on one side of my body. It starts from my foot and goes all the way up my leg to my lower back. I got it when I was 11 years old. Me and my parents did not know what it was. We thought it was ringworm at first because it formed like a perfect circle almost on my middle leg. And before I knew it, it just spread all the way down to my foot and all the way up to my lower back. We tried going to different doctors. I tried taking pills, creams, the UV light. None of it helped. I finally realized that I was just going to have to live with it for the rest of my life. Anybody that has vitiligo can understand and feel me on what it's like to have to live with vitiligo. It was very tough growing up, and I'm going to be 28 this year, and I'm at the point where I feel like I'm on a mission now. It's my dream. It's my goal to basically have this covered up. I feel like I don't have to live with this for the rest of my life. I have seen a doctor here in Cincinnati, Ohio that performed a suction blister procedure on me when he was able to take some skin from my thighs and place it over a piece of the vitiligo. It was successful, however, he doesn't do the procedure anymore. He referred me to a doctor in California that said that he could perform the procedure at a cost of 14000 including that does not include hospital stay. Um, I don't have that kind of money. I've tried writing the Tyra show, the Ellen show, um, to see if they could in some way, shape, or form help me, and also to get the story out about vitiligo. Um, I haven't heard anything back yet. I think that maybe people just don't think it's that big of a deal. Nobody knows what it feels like to have vitiligo unless you are living with vitiligo. It's um, very hard emotionally obviously, physically. Um, if there's anybody out there that can help me, if you have any advice, if you want to share your story with me, pictures, if you know of any doctors out there that can help me um, at the fraction of the cost for the procedure, if anybody wants to get with me with trying to get on one of these shows just to get our stories out there to let people know really what vitiligo is, um, because I don't show my legs anymore in public. I gave all, up on that a long time ago. You know, it gets really frustrating um, when you do try to show your vitiligo and all people do is stare and whisper. They don't really know what it is, you know. So it's very uncomfortable and frustrating, so I'm just trying to get it all out there. And, again, if anybody has any advice or anything they'd like to share with me, you can also check me out at meandmyvitiligo.blogspot.com.